Hello, I'm your mistress of manifestations and welcome to your love reading. Cheers. Now, my darlings, these are general messages. Not everything will resonate with you, but if it does, claim it 100%. I am going to be talking about only love in this reading. Your current love situation and your new or future love situation. That's all. I'm going to be taking multiple messages. I'm going to be setting intentions for your fantastic love life. Manifest it with me. I have your answers, your confirmations, your validations, and your answered prayers. So get ready. Get ready, Leo. Are you ready? I'm going to first start by asking what the general energy is for your current love situation. So this is the first part of your reading, which is the current love situation. By the way, after this, I'm going to be posting your current and future work, money, career, health reading. Watch out for that. So that basically covers your love life, your work, health and career. Is there anything else? No, I didn't think so. So I want you to have all around what can I say, viewpoint of what is coming towards you or answers or whatever you're going through. You ready? Let's start. What is the general energy, please, for my darling Leo's current love situation? Thank you, Spirit. Clear guidance, please, for my Leo's. Salute, crystal clear guidance. Confusion. You know, when this word comes out, Confusion, it talks about the Pisces, Neptune energy. Either you're dealing with a Pisces. Now, as you can see, this person is enveloped in a fog, Neptunian fog, Pisces. It's also where something is not seen very clearly for you. You're not able to see something because of all this fog. You know, if you've come here for a confirmation or a validation for a question as to whether you should move ahead with some decision, please take, take a deep breath. You do not have all the answers right now. There is confusion in your current love situation. Don't make a hasty decision, Leos. Instinct. Again, Pisces, it's talking about your Ajna, your third eye. Trust that inner knowing. What is that prompt telling you? There's something that has been told to you. And, you know, with, with this, it's it's like, you know, it's almost like there's somebody watching over you, Leo, and sending you messages. I don't know if it's a past or a loved one. What is your instinct telling you? Trust your intuition. This is what this is telling me. Again, Pisces energy, okay? And this could be the high priestess energy as well, okay? It could be the it could be a Virgo energy. I don't know, Leo. And last but not least, enlightenment. I am going to talk about this card in a way that you're going to have the light thrown on a situation. There is confusion here. And as you can see, the sunlight is being thrown on. I mean, this is a little child, you know, almost, what can I say, meeting his maker as such. But I think some of you are going to understand who is the maker of this confusion. There is going to be light thrown on this situation. So this is your general energy, okay, for your current love situation. Now, let's start with my Lenormans and continue with this reading. Let's see what Lenormans has to tell you, okay? So my Leos for their current love situation, current love situation for Leos. Now, for sure there is some kind of a protective figure who's watching over you because this is Mars and Aries fire sign. This for me is a sign of protection. I think there is a mother and a child you know, this is somebody who's extremely protective of her cubs. I mean, you go near that cub, you're, you're practically dead, ma. You're dead meat. You know what this energy, the polar bear. It's also about somebody who's got a lot of anger or who can be, you know, easily triggered. <clears throat> Am I talking to a mother? I always feel, you know, when I see this card of, you know, how, I mean, this mother bear can take any kinds of attacks or woundings, but she will always protect her young. And then I have the child. Is, am I talking to somebody who's a single parent here? I'm not saying it's just a mom who has this. The men have the same instinct too. We have, you know, 
all the energies available to us at any given point. You can channel your mother energy or your father energy. Your body is just a vessel with the particular sex organs, but the energies, that, that is not gender-based. So there is a mother and a child here. And there's something about protection. Now, with this card of the number 13, this number means anything to you. This could also be something brand new. Is there somebody who's pregnant? I'm just putting this out there too, because this is a child and this for me is my mother bear energy. On the other hand, I want you to know because the first message came out about your intuition. Okay. Some of you could be getting a guidance from a passed on mother. I just want to put this out there. This is your card. It's the card of Leo. New beginnings. I don't know if there is a single mother waiting for a new beginning with someone. And I have the parts. It's going to open up. Look, if you are in a current situation where there is confusion, I don't know why I feel that. And I don't know what the confusion is about. But the parts are about to open up for you. This is this is the card of crossroads. It's in number 22. But this talks about everything opening up. As you can see, the red carpet is going to be laid out for you. This is Venus in Libra. Okay, Venus in Libra. I'll take one more card and then let me clarify these cards for you, okay? One more card about current love situation for Leos. Thank you, sir. Excellent. Clover. This is Sagittarius, Jupiter, and Sag. This, it, this talks about a small window of luck. I am talking to a single parent here. I don't know what is the confusion. I don't know why they're waiting. There is going to be a small opening you know like a portal opens of good luck this is this is amazing energy optimism good luck take it the paths open up for you if you are someone okay who is waiting to whether they should move ahead in a situation and this involves children and it involves some kind of protection let's clarify these paths for you okay leo so you have Leo, you have Aries, you have Sagittarius, and you have Libra so far. By the way, this is your sun sign, right, Leo? Go check where your Venus is. Okay, Venus is about love. It's also about money. Please find out where your Venus is, in which sign in your chart. Also, where is your ascendant or your rising? Watch those readings on my channel. You will get many more messages, I promise you. Okay, let's go. Current situation. What is a child about? Okay. <clears throat> What is the bear about spirit for Leo's please? A lot of fire energy, lots. What is the clover about the spirit for Leo's? What is the paths about it? The crossroads, the paths for Leo's? My God. Okay. You know what I feel? There's somebody who's very defensive here, somebody who's tired here. I don't know if you've been waiting for a long time for this paths to open up for you. And I'll tell you the reason. Now, this card with the child, this is a Leo energy, your energy. I have a lot of passion. This is eight of wands. This is quick, commu this is communication. Such Godspeed through the air, but very passionate. I have a feeling there's somebody who's, who is pregnant with a love child. And I don't know why I feel this. This for me is a lot of passion. I don't know if you guys are at a distance, you know, away from each other, because this could be air travel too. Maybe you've traveled to meet each other. And is somebody pregnant? Let me know, please, Leo, if this is going on with you. Maybe you travel somewhere, you fell in love with someone. There's a lot of passion. This is Cupid's love arrows. And this is a child. Now, this could also be some of you starting off a new communication with someone which is good is also about newness where there's a lot of passion it's either one of the two now with this a mother bear energy okay this is my mars and aries this is somebody who's you know a bit aggressive a bit ill-tempered fire sign for sure i have the ace of wands i do not know if there is a mother who's found out that she's pregnant because this this woman could also be the light bulb coming on or there is some kind of a very protective person, either of their child, who is in a very hot, lustful, passionate relationship. I don't know if the child is a result of that. Maybe you weren't planning for a pregnancy yet, but there is somebody who is, or there is somebody lusting for this, for this kind of a protective mother. 
There is something about children, about pregnancy. This is also extreme lust. As in, you know, somebody holds that wand. I don't want to be vulgar, but, you know, and runs with it. This is extreme passion, lust, heat, sex, you know. And I'm talking about love, so I'm not going to talk about work. If it's for work, then you're passionate about your work. Okay, but this is about sex. I don't know if there is somebody who is in this energy. Could be somebody who is a mother or a father. I don't know if they're going with the lower vibration of their sacral, their swadeshtana, where it's all about sex, heat, and passion. But there is something that has happened in a moment of passion here, and someone is pregnant. Now, there is going to be a window of opportunity for you to create stability. This is earth energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This is money. There is going to be a quick, what can I say, an opening, you know, like suddenly you're going to be shown the way how to create the stability. I think there's an unexpected pregnancy here, and I feel this, but this is going to lead to you being able to set up your base with someone, create stability. Now, there's a fox here. There's some kind of intelligence involved here, Leo, which you're going to have to, you know, use. But there is this opportunity for you to create stability with someone. I hope, I'm just putting this message out, I do not know. Somebody did not get pregnant on purpose with a lot of sex and passion so that they could have some kind of a money thing. I don't know. I'm not getting that a lot. But I feel there is an unplanned pregnancy here, and I want to put this out there. Now, with the paths opening, I have the card of the nine of wands where somebody is close to exhaustion. Is somebody trying to seal the deal by getting pregnant? Because they're tired. This person is exhausted. Nine is one before the ten. And then the paths open up. I also wonder if somebody has been guarding the path. They have not been, they're not showing how it's going to be, how, what is going to be. They're not revealing the path ahead as to how this commitment can be reached. They've been guarding it and defending it, but it's going to open. This clover card with this, nothing can stop it. Somebody here is going to be shown the way how to create stability. I just hope that this is a pl unplanned pregnancy, which is what I feel for sure. But I hope somebody has not planned this unplanned pregnancy. I'm just putting this up. Okay, now let's take another deck. Okay, let's see what else I can give you for your current love situation. Spirit, it's for Leo's, please. Now, Salon. I don't know if some of you are doing up your home with someone. This, this this is the card of, you know, when the card of salon comes out, it's about the home. It's about the living room. It's where people sit down and talk and chat, share secrets, a cup of coffee, where you, you know, let your hair down, relax. Because this talks about the home. This could be cancer energy that you're dealing with. It's a number 21. I don't know if you are on the cusp of cancer and Leo, putting this out there as well. Now, this is the place where you sit down and share things. And then I have the card of poverty. Has that been, I'm talking to somebody here, where there has been a dearth of family time. There has been no time sitting down with your family or even sharing secrets. If you feel like this, but you have this beautiful home. Are you, I'm talking to somebody here who feels that there is no um, exchanging of ideas or love or anything in a home. You Do you feel secure and comfortable in this home? In your living room, do you feel this is where you go and hide, right? Why is this coming with it? the card of poverty? And then I have success in love. I want it. This is a fantastic card, by the way. It's a number 15. This, If some of you are feeling right now that there is a dearth of time that you're spending with somebody or you don't have that kind of privacy or being with each other, this is a card of all that being removed because it's going to be success in love. So I am talking to somebody who's feeling, I would say, impoverished at happiness in a home with someone. This will be one more card. It's a very good card, the number five. My God, great. Look, I am talking to somebody here. 
who doesn't feel, I don't know if it's loved or if it is secure in their home. I don't know why. Okay, we're going to clarify this. But the gift is being delivered to you. It's a number of 17. Is going to hand this over to you. I love this energy for you. Don't worry about your current situation, please. The gift. Now, if you wanted to do up your home, that's coming to the gift. I don't know how, but it's coming from the divine and the gift of love. I think some of, somebody has felt impoverished in all departments here, whether it is love or it is, you know, having enough to sustain some kind of a happy situation in a home. You've not felt, what can I say, nourished. You've not felt at home at home. That's what I mean. Spirit, what is this card of poverty for Leo? What is the card of the salon, please, for my darling Leos? What is the card of success in love? See, success in love is super. It seals the deal, okay, for this particular, oh boy. That changes everything, and I'll tell you why. What is the gift about what? WTF. I am talking to somebody here who's cohabiting with their soulmate. With the card of poverty, I have the card of the fool. This is Aries. There's a lot of Aries in this reading, in these cards as well, okay? From the first message, second message as well that I've given you about somebody's current situation. I've told you all the signs, okay? If you can, watch some of those readings if they resonate with you. Take what's yours, leave the rest, okay, Leo? Somebody's going to be taking a leap of faith. The sick of being in this energy. I don't know if you are with somebody who is a complete miser with their emotions, with their love, with their heart. Because this, this is how you feel, like a beggar. It's my five of, you know, uh, pentacles. You're begging. It's a brand new beginning. You're taking a leap of faith away from this, of course. Nobody's going towards this. Now, when the card of the fool comes out, I always wonder if somebody took someone's niceness, you know, like an, you took advantage of somebody's naivety or somebody's faith or somebody's loyalty. I don't know why I feel that. I feel this. I feel this. It's like you took that for granted and you, somebody has misused that. I want to put this out there too and I'll tell you why. Now, with the card of the salon, okay, which is, you know, your living room, I have the card of the soulmate. There's an age difference here. The divine feminine could be a little older. This is somebody you know from a long time. Perhaps you've shared a lot of secrets with them. I don't know if there's somebody from your family, town, from your city. You know this person. Or you firmly believe this is your soulmate, Leo. It's like you have a connection, which is from the past. Now, have you stayed with this person before? Is this somebody that you're retrying to, you know, build that spark again? Because this is, you know, like I'm telling you, this is your innermost sanctuary of your home. And you've spent time with this person, perhaps, you know, in the past, you've had a relationship with them where you've stayed together. Comment below, let me know, please, Leo. Now, with the card of success in love, you won't believe the energy which has come out, the seven of swords. Look, what do I say, yeah, Leo? I'm stumped. This is the exact ends of the spectrum. This is the highest. This is the lowest, shittiest. Sorry for my language. What you thought was a successful partnership, I'm sorry if you've come here for a confirmation, it's not. With the card of poverty and the seven of swords, you're dealing with somebody who's a freaking fox. Look, there is trickery and fuckery going around here. This, I don't know what they're doing to you, whether they're mesmerizing you with that, you know, they're totally mad about you and it's not true please listen up leo it's not true for those of you who are facing some kind of issues okay in your current situation they are doing something behind your back very 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 intelligently I don't know if they are making you feel or fooling you look this kind of confusion that first message go back 
there is confusion here, and they're creating it. They are creating it. I also want to say with the card of the fool and the card of poverty, some of you thought that leaving a particular situation where, which was bullshit anyways and taking a leap of faith towards a soulmate and you failed again because this person is pretending to be this. This is what you thought you would get. You got this. You left someone, I feel who treated you, you know, where you had poverty in love, poverty in emotions, poverty in them spending time and money on you. And you thought, you know what? I'll take a leap of faith away from this. Now you can reverse the role. Maybe somebody's doing this to you. Okay. I don't think this is that though. This is your reading. I feel this is not a cross watchers read. And you thought you're going to go back to somebody who felt like home. Maybe you've spent time with this person who you thought was your soul. They turned out to be a freaking fraud as well. I'm so sorry. For whoever is going through this. And I'm again sorry to report that, yeah, they are fraudulent. What is this? This is what they're showing you. This is what they are. This is what you were expecting. This is a reality. And I'm so sorry to say that. And you know what your gift is going to be? You're walking away. I'm so sorry to say that. I'm not going to sugarcoat any other way. What comes out, I'm going to speak. Okay, so I'm sorry. But this is what the cards are saying. You have free will, Leo. But this is what the cards say to leave. And you see that big moon there? It's about secrets. It's about fears. You know, you've had, you've had this fear. You put yourself in that poverty mindset that you're never going to find love. You found love. You were hurt. I don't know where you got the courage from to leave. But you went towards another fraud. I don't know which one was bigger than the second one. I do not know. Perhaps it's your time to just take a break. There is a lot of confusion here. A lot. Let's take another deck, okay? And then I'm going to go to your future love. Spirit, give me some messages for Leo's, please. Thank you. Okay. Stop chasing someone. Stop chasing. Do not chase them. Let them run. You have this fear of being, you know, left alone. Or le they're not going to be alone, Leo. I give you my promise. You know, it's like you're waiting at this beautiful dinner table of your life. You're waiting for love to come to you. For example, you're waiting for your glass of champagne. But till then, you're drinking vinegar, which is on that table. Don't. Wait. You've placed your order, yeah. Don't deal with somebody who's making you run after them. Let them go. If you're chasing somebody, this is telling you to clearly stop chasing them. This person likes to be chased. If you have a fear of abandonment, I totally understand you. I, I struggle with that. <laughs> But I've learned my lessons. Don't run after people. Let them go. The minute you allow losers to exit your vibration, you know, new people, your soulmates, and that's not always romantic, but I'm talking about love you. The ones who are meant to be, you made a soul contract with them. They've signed that and come here in blood. They will show up. Give them a chance, yeah. Let them fulfill their soul contract. This person wants you to chase them. Keep running. Let them run. Now, some of you could start talking to somebody brand new, okay? Interested, waiting for their messages, their texts, their calls. I like this energy for you. I like this energy for you. Remember, there are over, I don't know how many billions of people on this earth, okay? And you've made your contract with the right ones. Allow them. Allow them to enter your beautiful vibration, Leo. You're going to be learning, ascending, transcending, for a new phase. You're going to be preparing for union with someone. This individual wants to be chased. I don't know who this is. I do not know. Take, a, take some more. I'll take another message. Okay, Leah, for you. This is your current situation. Now, whenever this card comes out, this is not my health reading. I'm going to be putting that up next. So watch out for that. This talks about making healthy choices. Some of you are making your choices in your love from fear of rejection, abandonment, or there is somebody here with some kind of self-worth issues. You're the lion. Come on, roar. There can only be one king of the jungle. That's you, king or queen, okay? I want you to utilize your energy Leo, shine, shine bright, make healthier choices. And this talks about self-love and self-care. 
make healthy choices in love. There's something about timing here. This is not your time, I feel, Leo. Pull back if it's not working out in love. Just pull back. I'm going to take your future love next after this, immediately after this, okay? If it's not working out, working out for you right now with somebody currently, just pull back. Don't belittle yourself. Some of you need time. You've been through some cycles. Maybe you've been in a marriage with someone. You need time to heal, but you are progressing. Do not forget that. The sword and the rose. This talks about clarity. There is confusion here in somebody's current love situation. This is talking about clarity. It's talking about truth. Revelations. That's like my, like my ace of wands. The light comes on. Honor and protection. That is a bare energy. The cards don't lie. Determination. Fool. You're going to take a leap of faith away from crap. I know this. I know this. And when the card of, you know, the time card comes out, you know, cycles, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or somebody who's made you go round and round this mountain of bullshit. I want to put this out there too. Okay. So these were the messages I have for your current situation. Let's move on to new love. All right, Leo. Are you ready? Let's shift gears. New love for Leo. What is the new love energy coming in for my darling Leo? Brand new love. Not about the old. This could be for somebody who, you know, you have nobody in your life at this moment. I'll tell you who's coming towards you. I'll give you some hints. It's also about your health and your career. You know, why did I say that? This is not about your health and career. It's just about love. I'm so sorry. Okay. Recovery. You know, this is the key. This is the key. As you can see, there is going to be, I feel that there is somebody who's, mentally not well here. I don't know what this is talking about, but there's somebody who's been hurt so badly that they're jaded in love. And when this car talks about recovery, I feel there's somebody coming towards you who could be recovering from something, perhaps heartbreak. Are you going to be their love nurse? Go ahead. I know that there's a lot of energy coming up from this person's mouth. It's almost like somebody's speaking. I don't know if they, they have dealt with somebody who, who is very rude, mean, cold, and they are recovering from a lot of verbal fights. This person is coming towards you. They could be a workaholic. Somebody who's, you know, the emperor, the boss, the CEO. I like this energy for you. I like it. You know, I'm a Capricorn moon. I'm all about work. I love that. You have somebody coming towards you who's a freaking workaholic and there is, you know, pastels and paint here. I don't know if they're an artist, an architect, a, a designer. They work with their hands. I don't know. And last but not least, mysticism. This talks about the Pisces Virgo axis. It also talks about somebody who's into the occult, somebody who could be into astrology, tarot, somebody who believes, you know, in other realms. How can we be so vain, you know, to think that we are the only beings who exist here, really. And this earth is the, really, no. You're going to be dealing <laughs> with somebody who has this quality of being a mystic. You know, they believe in uh, other realms, other kinds of arts. Maybe they're good in the esoteric sciences. Hey, let me know when this plays out. I want to know who this new person is for you, Leo. Now, I'll take your first message. I'll take it from my Lenormans, okay? for love who is the new love lover coming towards you this is new love energy none of the old only new only new for my leos Oof. don't like this energy it's the whip it's very quick energy it's a lot of arguments. Look, there's a lot of verb. I feel you. Yeah, somebody who's coming towards you is either very angry right now at life or they have been in a situation where there's been a lot of conflict. A lot. And I also feel, you know, whip is a very quick energy. I don't know if they have just quickly exited something which was had a lot of verbal conflicts and um, a lot of problems with communication for me. It's like arguing, fights, debates. This is not pleasant wherever they've come from. Then I have the card of the cross. You know, they've been bearing this burden. 
I don't know if they have been forced to stay in a situation because of their upbringing. So number 36, maybe they're, you know, devoutly religious where they feel that uh, breaking away from something, even though it's breaking your back, is not the answer. And they've suffered. This is my card of suffering. It's like they've been carrying this cross and walking with it. It's dark moon, Lilith energy. It's somebody who's been suffering. Somebody's, uh, you know, you have two cards of Lilith here. This is very heavy energy. This is dark moon. Lilith is about anger, vengeance, fights. Um, you know, I'll get you. It's not nice. And somebody has been suffering with this. I think they've been staying for religious re reasons or they have been scared as to what their family will say. And I have the card of time, but it's time. It's all about cycles and time. This is about Capricorn for me. When the card of, you know, the clock comes out, it's happening in divine timing. Somebody has to leave something. It's time. And they have done it. And, you know, they've waited. I don't know what they've waited for the right times. It is a divine masculine. This one means my water sign because there has a beautiful rose in his hand. This could be uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Somebody who's very caring, romantic, and loving. Maybe somebody has stayed and punish themselves because they thought, you know, once you marry, it's for keeps. This could be a father. This could be a single parent today. But they're coming towards you and they've really suffered. I mean, I don't know who they have dealt with. Two Liliths, I'm telling you, if you're dealing with this energy, this could be coming towards you. They haven't, there is an X in the picture and I'm telling you this right away. So I need you to have, you know, cognizance of this. And I feel there could be an X in the picture. I'll clarify these cards for you. What is this whip about? The whip and the cross. Leos. I want to first just tell you what I have, okay? King of Cups. There is somebody here who's a single parent who's coming towards you. Okay? This could be, I mean, don't go by the sex of the cards. I mean, it shows a male here, so I'm saying that. Could be a single mother. They have suffered. They have endured some kind of punishment. Punishment. It's almost like they've punished themselves, you know, believing that this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And it doesn't matter how bad my situation is. I can't leave. Leo's, please. okay look there are a lot of there are two kings here i don't know if i'm talking to somebody who's in the same sex relationship i do not know i have a king of pentacles here and i have a king of cups here and i have a knight of wands here okay now the first card that came up was the king of cups with the whip i don't know what they are who they're fighting with this individual is going through some kind of arguments fights deep some conflict here and it's 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 like for me this is somebody getting whipped you know i told me literally like my life somebody is just tired it's a very quick energy and it's also of anger and vengeance and i want to put this out there for you now with the card of the cross I have the Knight of Wands. I don't know if the Knight of Wands for me, okay, is a player. Sag. Is this the burden of proof that somebody is carrying? Or are they hiding this because they're scared that people will find out this is my card of being a player. They don't want to commit. So I do not know if somebody was in a commitment because they were forced into it. And now they're, they, they, that's what I feel. This is, a, this is the energy of the person coming towards you. I don't know if they were forced into a commitment because of religion, because of tradition. This person wants to play. And this is a card of suddenly everything was put on their backs. Like, no, you know, you're now you're a husband, you're a father. I, I feel this. Somebody was burdened with this very quickly. This person wants to still enjoy their life. They feel like a knight at heart, but they have been forced to be a king. I feel this. Or maybe there's a father figure who's forced them to take on all this responsibility now with the card of time and the card of boredom this for me is somebody being bored af 
All the cups are standing. Their life is beautiful and rosy. They're bored. It's almost like whoever is giving them that cup, they have rejected it. I don't know if you've caught their attention. This person has been bored in their life. It has been for a long time. They've gone through many cycles with someone. They are not happy where they are. I'm not surprised that this, this, this individual is having a lot of mental conflicts and maybe literal conflict because they are supposed to be responsible, but I think they're still playing around. Look, are you willing to tame somebody like this? Because for me, the Knight of Wands is somebody who does not want to commit. So I'm just putting this message out there for you, okay? I don't know if this is another person coming towards you. I don't know. But if this energy comes towards you, I'll be happier. Okay? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. More stable. This person wants to build. Okay? They want to create stability. That is a home, you know, uh, perhaps, you know, starting a business with you. This person is better for me than the Knight of Wands or the King, even the King of Cups. That's okay too. But there or oh, these are three totally different people coming towards you. Take your pick. I would just request you avoid the night. Okay? But that person just wants to play. King of Cups could be somebody who's punishing themselves because of, you know, whatever they've gone through and they've stayed in a family. The only issue there could be an angry ex. But the, but the King of Wands, uh, Knight of Wands, please, that's player. Player. All they want to do is play. Fool around. I don't think they would like to commit. So please... Watch out for that energy. Now, I'll take some cards for my Kipper work, okay? For your future love. Who's coming towards you, Leo? Excellent. There is this energy of a gentleman. This could be somebody older, very well put together. This could be a father, a guru, a teacher, CEO, a boss, a gentleman. They are going to take a long journey towards you. Maybe they've been stuck. Because, you know, when this card of, this is foreign horizons. This is somebody staying at a distance from you. They could be flying to you. They could come to you via air. They could fly to you. You have this energy coming towards you. Or maybe you're going towards them if this male is you. And you're breaking this anchor which has kept you stuck. You felt stuck somewhere. You're breaking free from that and going. Or somebody's breaking free from something and coming towards you. By the way, in this deck, this is a card of Pisces, okay? And Neptune. You know, there's a lot of Pisces energy in your reading. This is a number 36. If this number means anything to you, there's a lot of confusion still in your, um, in the energies around you. I don't want you to make hasty decisions. Time, Leo, you do not have to settle. I don't want you to settle. This is a number 36, okay? Somebody is coming towards you from a distance, Okay. Now, because, by the way, why did I say that? This is a card of Sagittarius. There is a lot of fire energy. The reason I said Neptune is because he rules water. That's the reason why. That's the reason why. There is an energy here, okay, that uh, this is my soulmate card. Whoever is coming towards someone here in, from this deck is, is, is your soulmate, but they're at a distance from you. They could be older to you. They're breaking free from something and coming towards you. And they've waited for a long time. This is a card of Capricorn. This has been a marathon of waiting period for them. I don't know what they've had to wait for. Something to end? Because this is my card of somebody, you know, it's not a sprint. You've Either they've waited to come to you or to find a soulmate. They've perhaps grown old. Somebody who's very wealthy and put together, Leo. They could be a little older, wiser, mature. They are at a distance from you. They could have break free from some kind of shackles that anchor for me sometimes even keeps you stuck, you know. They're going to fly to you. And they waited for a long time. I think there's somebody who's been watching you from the sidelines. I don't know why I feel this. Now, let me clarify these cards for you. Who's this gentleman, please, for Leo? The horizons, Leo. Okay, that card just wanted to come out and that's your card. Listen, with the card of the gentleman, I have five of wands. This is somebody who has had a lot of competition in love. <clears throat> a lot of competition. 
you know, this is, oh, do you know that there are a lot of people fighting over this person? Somebody is very sought after, but I think they're choosing you. I don't know if you know that there are a lot of people fighting, you know, for their attention. I hope this is not somebody who's had a lot of conflict in their life. Just want to put this out there. Now, with the card of the distant horizons, which is high hopes and, high, you know, water, Sagittarius, I have a queen of pentacles. I don't know if this is somebody who's, who is very well put together. This is my card of somebody who could be a mother. This is a minor arcana of the empress. There is an age difference here. Maybe you're younger to this person, but you have your own business too. And you're very proud of what you've created. And I think this person dotes on you and they see you like this as someone who is so well put together, charismatic, mother material, marriage material, somebody who is worth creating stability with. And they also think you have good business sense. They, they, they want to come to you. They do. They do. I don't know if you met with, you know, because of your work connections. It's been a long time for someone, this individual. They've been waiting for a long time. I told Zakara Capricorn. You know, and they've transformed these butterfly stock of transformation. Maybe they've grown older and wiser. You, They look at you as a victory. You know, I think they feel you have a lot of people fighting over you. And they want to win you. It's a card. This is your card. It's a card of Leo. Six of Wands. From the five, you go to the six. I'm glad. Because the five of wands is a bit of conflict, you know, uh, competition. Somebody is competing for your heart. I feel this and they want victory with you. This person could be older to you, very well put together, established. They see you as a queen of pentacles. Somebody who is so stable and beautiful, the minor arcana of the empress. And they want a victory with you. They do. I love this. I love it. Okay. Now. This is for your future love energy, okay? I'll take some cards from my Mystic Red Rose Oracle deck for your future love energy for Leos. And then I'm going to be doing your health, career, money reading. Ready? Future love energy. Oh, boy. Okay. This is somebody whose relationship is over. They could be going through a divorce. It's over. It's, I mean, skull and bones. They've tried perhaps to make it work. This is a card of Scorpio. Where there's a Scorpio coming towards you. They are leaving something behind, which is dead. Finished. So the divorce is done. The relationship doesn't exist anymore. And they're coming towards you. Gosh, I don't know what y'all are doing. There's a lot of seduction here. I don't know if you guys get on Skype and Zoom and do all kind of naughty things, but... This energy is, there's a lot of seduction here, but I need you to understand this person has gone through some kind of third party problem before. So maybe they're a bit wary or maybe you have, but this card tells me that there's somebody who is perhaps very sexy or they find you very sexy or there is a lot of sexual energy in this relationship. Now this hooking up and date, if this is just somebody who wants to date you, I do not know. But this energy is coming towards you. For the ones who are single, expect to be, you know, wined, dined, a lot of, you know, sex and passion is coming. But they have, somebody here has gone through a third party or some kind of a horrible breakup. I want to put this out there too. Blowing kisses, unconditional love, affection returned. I think whoever this person is, but it's a lot of attraction. You're going to have your, you know, your affections returned back. It's going to be a two-way give and take. I'm setting intentions for you for this. I just want you to take note of that clear energy, okay? The other two, one who is the father energy who's coming towards you is okay with me. King of Pentacles is superbly okay with me. It's that knight, the younger one coming at you with a lot of sex and passion. That's the one I want you to be careful of. Now, I don't know who this is, the seduction. If you're talking to somebody, there is this potential for unconditional love and an equal given zone here as well. Now, I'll take some cards from my Hidden Truth Oracle deck to see what your future lover wants to tell you. Okay, Leo? And then I'll just take Angel Answer cards. 
It's the Leos. Leos. Future love. I hid who I was from you. I don't know if they've not told you the whole story of what they've gone through. I knew exactly what I was doing. This is somebody who's done something. I don't know if they've cheated before. Just putting this out there. Just putting this out there. Maybe they didn't want to tell you the details of their divorce, but this person is coming towards you. You can ask them the right questions and trust your intuition. I bury myself in work to forget you. They are still getting over somebody else. I don't want you to be that stopgap, okay? Please take note of this, Leo, because they're still getting over someone. I lost myself for a little while. This is somebody who's cheated. I'm so sorry to say that, Leo. That's the first thing that came. This is somebody who's done something to somebody else. I want you to take note of this, Leo, okay? Whatever stories they're giving you, they're not giving you the whole story. Please dig a little more deeper when this individual comes towards you, okay? I do not want you to be that middle relationship that they use to get over someone. No. Okay, Leos. Now I'll take some angel answer cards. It's for love, general. For your love. This is what I'll end my reading with. Current or future. Okay. Okay. For my Leos. So it's for my Leos. It's for my Leos. Thank you, Spirit. Peaceful resolution in love. Whatever you're going through. Look, this always tells me that there are second chances here. You have free will, Leo. Utilize it. But there is a chance for some of you to reconcile something. Because for me, this resolution means you resolve something. Yeah. Or maybe some of you to celebrate your differences. And that's the way you resolve this. I don't know. Take action. Take action in love. Whatever that means for you. It's all about perfect timing. Something is happening in divine timing. Good, bad, or ugly. Just go with the flow. Leo, go with the flow. Don't fight it. It's not happening on our watch. It's happening on their watch. And they're seeing the bigger picture. I know it's tough right now. Stay calm. You're on the right track. The right person will come. And I guarantee you this. We are not meant to be alone. I promise you this, Leo. Perfect timing. Divine timing, karma, beautiful dharma you've created in your life is going to come back and bless you. And I'm setting intentions for your love life, okay? You're ready. You are ready and you're ready. Repeat after me. Do your affirmations for love with me. You are ready to welcome the most amazing love into your life. You are ready to receive the highest love of all. You are ready to receive a beautiful, abundant, peaceful, mesmerizing, sexy, passionate love into your life. You are ready to ascend to the next level of your relationship, which means commitment, loyalty, integrity, and growth. You are ready to be a parent. You are ready to be a good husband or a good wife. You are ready to welcome love, loveliness, children, hope, happiness, a home, stability, just love into your life. And so be it. Okay, Leo. So these were your messages for your love situation, whether current or the future, the new love that is coming towards you. Like, comment, share, subscribe. It helps my little channel grow. And it would be such an honor to have you as a part of my little community on YouTube. All we do is send, you know, as much as love, peace and blessings as we can energetically across the screen. And I'm sure you feel it right now as much as I feel it from you. And I'm so grateful for that. I have, I'm, I'm just so happy that if even if you can take one message from my readings, I'll be delighted. So I would love to see your comments so that I know what you're going through. And I'm setting intentions that you manifest dream lover very soon. And it will happen. Don't give up. Okay. Until then.
Watch out for your health, money, career reading is coming up next. I'll see you soon. This is Mistress of Manifestation saying goodbye, my darling Leos. Namaste. I love you. Remember, you are loved. You are guided. You are guarded. You are always protected. Have a wonderful day. Bye.